this one. So people say we need a conspiracy, and I say not at all. Scientists wanted fame and grants and junkets. The politicians wanted a big scare to ask for more of your money. The renewable and nuclear energy groups liked the subsidy. The Greens wanted to feel important. And quite a few accounts and lawyers didn't mind the extra jobs on offer. And of course, the banks want us to trade carbon. The only people who can't benefit from this scam is everyone else. The great unwashed masses, the people who make things, grow things, build things, teach, clean, nurse and police, those people would pay for the scam. That's us. We have no union, no association, no UN agency and no PR department. Just the internet and thousands of volunteers who are rising up in a whistleblowing revolution I have never seen before in science. Never seen thousands of scientists standing up and saying, this is wrong, give me the data and I will reanalyze it. And they are finding holes in papers put out by government appointed scientists and they are being published in peer reviewed journals and busting them. It's a revolution in science. There was a vacuum and the people have come to fill it. A trial without a defence is a sham, ladies and gentlemen. We all know that business without competition is a monopoly and it's wrong. And science without debate is propaganda. Yeah. Democracy cannot exist as a permanent form of government. It can only exist until the voters realise they can vote themselves largesse from the Treasury. From that moment on, the majority always votes for the candidates promising the most benefits from the public Treasury, with the result that a democracy always collapses over loose fiscal policy. <coughs> Not like we've seen that lately. No. Followed by a dictatorship, the average age of the world's great civilizations has been 200 years. Henning Prentice in 1940, that, that Tyler said that 200 years ago, Henning Prentice said great nations rise and fall, the people go from bondage to spiritual truth, from courage to liberty, from liberty to abundance, from abundance to selfishness, from selfishness to complacency, from complacency to apathy, is that where we're at now? Yes. From apathy to dependence and from dependence back to bondage. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to do something to stop this trend.